Rich from Hughes and Katna, and look who I've got with me on camera today. It's you again. Again, again. It's Mr. Jeff Waters from Annihilator. How are you doing, Jeff? Very good. The Canadians are taking over Music Mesa this year. They are indeed. They are indeed. If you're not here, you've got to get over because you're doing some rock cam clinics, aren't you? Yeah, once a day they do some, uh, they take this stage and they wheel it over into uh, a room over here. We play and then they wheel it back here and somebody else goes up and plays. Yeah. It's fun. Are you actually doing clinics like, are you answering questions and stuff like that? No, there's a, later on today, there, every day there's a question and answer thing and a little school thing, but over here you just jam and make a noise, play and having fun talking to people. Yeah. I was interested, you must have been doing clinics for 20, 30 years or whatever. What's like the question you get asked the most? Oh, you haven't? You know what? Hughes and Kettner were the first company that ever said to me, I would like you to do guitar clinics. And I'd never done them ever before in my whole life. And it was the first time ever in 2010 when, when you guys invited us or me to do it. Yeah. So what's the kind of number one question that you've ever been asked in a clinic? What do people want to know from you? Usually because a lot of the people that go there know me already uh, a little bit from our shows here, concerts, and they know I'm kind of funny and goofy and immature, so it's not your typical questions. They ask silly things like, is your, is your girlfriend from Germany? How much money do you have? Uh, what, what type of cars do you like? And it, it's some silly things, so uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. If you were to go to a clinic of anybody, if you could choose to go to someone else's clinic, who would it be and why? Uh, well, if if he was doing them, it would be Eddie Van Halen because he's my favorite guitar player of all time. Yeah. But uh, I've seen a lot of good players here at Mesa. There's uh, just before I did my last show here an hour ago, I went outside and there's an, an older gentleman playing guitar with uh, two hands, like a piano, and crossing them, and he was playing the most beautiful music. So. Yesterday when I got here early, I came and watched a lot of the artists perform a sound check. And there's some amazing drummers here, amazing guitar players. And it really makes you realize you're just like, a, you should be grateful that you're a very small piece of the whole big music business because there's so much talent. And a lot of people don't get the promotion. Even, even me, I, I get some pretty good promotion for a heavy metal guy, 51 year old heavy metal guy. But seeing some of the musicians here that don't get the promotion that are so amazing it's it's an incredible thing to be here so the bigger thing for you it's not necessarily the gear the new amps or whatever we've got it's seeing what else is out there and learning from other musicians yeah not so much learning because i'm past the learning point many decades ago but just to, to appreciate all the great talent that's out there at any level and in every kind of music it's something as a musician that, that does this for a living and, and works hard and works a lot, you sometimes forget that, so it keeps you grounded. Yeah. How does it feel for you to be getting invited back year after year to do this, to share your wisdom that you've gained over the decades and all that sort of stuff? Every time I leave my home country in Canada and I take a, a plane to come over to Europe or Japan or South America to uh, do clinics or tours, press trips, anything, it's, uh, I always say, it's not a prayer or it's not a, religious thing because I'm not a religious guy but I always say thank you very much when I look out the window of the plane when it takes off and I'm just saying thank you very much for whatever is out there that's letting me do this um, every year it's 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 an honor you know yeah and I noticed as well in January this year you were on a boat you did the 70,000 tons of metal cruise that must have been awesome right yeah I mean there's a lot of boat cruises out there I've been on a couple but the one that I've been going to now for so many years, the 70,000 tons of metal, it's the perfect thing for me as a fan and as a musician because our band plays there every couple of years, but I host the All-Star Jam on there, get to meet a lot of my friends and new friends that are great musicians, put them together and play some cool old 80s metal songs. Um, but it, it's really cool, it, it's an amazing cruise. Yeah. So you go from that to this, what's coming up after in the summer festivals, right? Yeah, I've been doing a lot. I've been lucky that it, the last few years for Annihilator should have went down because we lost our singer, guitar player Dave Patton, who was with me for 13 years. And fantastic, amazing singer and a really good rhythm guitar player. I thought he was going to be with us to the end of our career. Um, and he, he left, he's a good friend, but he left suddenly, had some personal issues at home and didn't want to travel. So I was devastated for about a week. 
And then I realized, oh, well, I'll go back to what I was doing for many albums we did and sang and played guitar. And for some really lucky reason, we've been going up and up again since then. So we've done 18 months of touring, uh, not straight, but almost 18 months for the last album. All these crazy things like award shows and uh, uh, nominations in Canada for things and boat cruises, clinics. It's fantastic. It's a great life. Yeah. And the last time I talked to you, I oh, think... Wait. And oh, let's talk gear for one second. All those things I mentioned, even the award shows. We played a show with Ace Freely and uh, Dirk, drummer and Megadeth and all that. We were jamming at uh, Epiphone Revolver Golden Gods Award in New York. Using the Grandmeister 36, actually. That's a 40, but a 36. Been using the Grandmeister now since they came out faithfully, and uh, they rock. And now I've been introduced to the Grandmeister 40, so I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with that. Well, a lot of people love your presets that you did for the 36, so it'd be really cool for us if you'd fancy kind of updating maybe then, yeah. tweaking them in your studio and putting some for the 40. If they pay me some money, I'll do anything. We can afford it for you, anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kidding. Yeah. No sure. problem, man. Um, what was I saying before? Yeah, the last time I saw you and spoke to you on camera, I think Dave had recently left. So you'd recently taken over again as lead vocalist for the live stuff. Yeah. In the two odd years since then, how, how has it kind of evolved? Like you had a big new rack and in-ear systems yeah. and stuff. Everything was changing for the band. How is it now? I was just trying to experiment and try to get anything I could do gear-wise to help me get, because, you know, at 49 years old, all of a sudden you're the lead singer again and you're playing guitar wasn't an easy thing for me to do, so I needed to try in-ears, whatever I could do. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and yeah, just trying different gear and rehearsing a lot, and we rehearse a lot more now. But now we're busier than ever. We're touring more than we ever have before, so yikes. Got a few years ahead of me, I think, so. Yeah. But that's all positive, right? You're looking forward to what's oh, yeah. coming, yeah? Yeah, it was a little scary for a while, but then I did the last album two years ago and we just finished the next one which should come out in the fall and uh, so that's I think that's my fifth album singing for Annihilator so I'm starting to get used to it now that the, the idea that I'm the singer as well so yeah. Talking of new material there's also a, was it a live DVD that's recently come out as well that fans yeah. can get? Yeah we had a Blu-ray DVD uh, set come out with a documentary uh, live at Bang Your Head show uh, which is great because by the way at Bang Your Head and Vakken there were, there were a lot of mus musicians and especially uh, guitar techs from the big bands that would come out and look at my rig and they would see not a big wall of marshals or any of this stuff that, or campers. What they would see is they would see this little little Houston Kettner cabinet, 212, and they'd see well, at the time a couple of the Grandmeister 36s, which are basically, uh, I think the 40s are a little better version of the 36s. Um, and these techs and musicians, very famous guitar players, would come out and take a look at what I was using. And I would look sometimes at their faces and they would look and point and, and they'd have funny faces. Like, what, what is that? What, what are they, this is a big, big festival. Why are they using a little thing like that? And then they would come see the show and they would just sort of go, now we know why it works. They were very amazed that that little amp can kick so much ass, basically. Yeah, it's great. I think thanks to your feedback, we've also got a whole lot of other metal players who are kind of discovering Grandmeister. It's a small amp, but it sounds huge. And recently we've got guys like Devin Townsend and his guitarist Dave Young. They're playing Meister amps awesome. as well. And well, we'd like to think that you've sort of played your part in the legacy of the amps. Yeah. So thank you well, very much. For that, I was I very, very glad that you guys uh, helped me out because it's been, um, you know, you have to work very hard in this business to survive, especially in heavy metal if you want it as a career. And you need a lot of friends that can help you out. And uh, Houston Kettner's been there for me for over, I think, seven years, I think, so awesome. Yeah. Well, here's to seven more years, I guess. Just a couple of things. Make sure you check out the video that we did with Jeff in Luxembourg a couple of years back where he did an awesome rig rundown of his rig so you can see what he's playing. Make sure you go over to Annihilator's Facebook, website, Instagram. Check them all out. Make sure you see him on the road this summer. Keep online with us at HughesandKettner.com, and we shall see you next time. Peace. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much again. <laughs>